What's up you guys, it's Jono! I'm gonna do the King's Cup challenge, it just unlocked for me, and uh, I'm gonna pick my deck which I wanna use. And I think I am going to use this deck which I have been using quite a bit. So let's go ahead and do the King's Cup for the first time. So it says it's free, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it because it is free. And let's get it started. So first battle. See how long I can last in this thing. Oh yeah, it chooses a random deck for you. So this is crazy. I don't even know. Oh my goodness. I don't even know. Goodness, this is kind of crazy. At least I have Zap in this deck. Wow, this is going to be really intense. I forgot it chooses a random deck for you, and I hate using the Elixir Pump. And I don't, ha and I have the, um,. The, uh, the Three Musketeers, which you pretty much have to play the Elixir Pump to use. So, we'll see what happens here. Alright. So, he didn't take down my Elixir Pump, so I may be able to continue to use it. And I think I'm going to go Minor and uh, minion horde over here on the right side and see if I can just break on through. So let's see if that actually works. Kind of worked, I got a little bit of damage in there. Minion horde is pretty strong, so that worked out decently at least. And what I don't want is to take a bunch of damage from that bowler. And I've been able to successfully get rid of that bowler quite a few times now. He's got Princess though, which is a little ridiculous. And we're also up to double time now, which is also a little bit ridiculous. I mirrored my knight because he can take a lot of damage. So I just threw him out there to take a bunch of damage. And it worked out pretty well. And there goes the tower. So now maybe I can just hold. I like that mirrored knight. That actually worked out pretty nice. I'm going to take down his princess just because I don't like her at all. I don't want her bothering me. I'm just going to keep on like throwing my cards. And I think I'll play some defense as well. Alright, not bad, not bad. My first match, let's give him a good game. That was a weird deck. I didn't even play the Three Musketeers the whole time. I don't remember playing it one time. But I did get a win. So, let's go on to my next one. On this deck, oh, Hog Rider. I didn't even see most of the cards. Oh, uh, Tombstone, I know how to play Tombstone. So, Tombstone there. Let's go with uh, Valkyrie and an Ice Wizard push. I may be able to rock that. A little bit of damage, maybe. Yeah, the Valkyrie got in for a hit. Ice Wizard got a few hits. Look, it gave me Hog and Freeze. I'm actually going to get to use Hog and Freeze. How lucky. So let's go poison, because that will take out the princess, and then uh, there's not much I can do about all that damage I'm taking, I'm just going to have to wait through it, and he has got the bowler, <clears throat> I'll probably have to do something about that bowler, 
But I've got the hog in the freeze right now. Uh, I'm not sure what to do about that. Valkyrie? Valkyrie could do it. Yeah, Valkyrie should do it. I never, ever, ever play Valkyrie. So that's kind of weird. Throwing her out there. If she can, yeah, I was hoping she would take the shields off of those dudes. And she did that pretty well. Now, I haven't got a chance to play Hog and Freeze yet. I've been on defense the whole time. So I'm going to try and bust out a Hog Freeze right here. There we go. So that worked out okay. He's probably not expecting that. Let's see if I can defend for once. I was able to defend the uh, Expo. So there we go. A little bit of defense on the Expo there. It wasn't enough though. So I am going to lose my tower because of that. <clears throat> so I need to try and get through with another hard freeze. Let's see if I can make it happen. There we go. And if we can get the kill. There we go. Just gonna drop the Valkyrie right on top of that. Uh... Dang, he's getting me with that expo. And he's got the skeletons coming through too. And the princess, goodness, he's really working me. Extra time, and I'm getting him down just a little bit here. Just enough to where I feel comfortable throwing the hog. And the freeze. And I got some really good hits with that hog and freeze. So I'm going to try and push through. And see if I can get through. All I need is one more hog to get through. Oh, that would have been clutch if I could have got it. Oh, I think he may get me. I'm going to have to cycle the hog. Wow, I can't believe I got him with a poison. Lucky. So lucky with the poison. I just threw it out there because I was like, maybe I have enough damage with that poison to get him. And uh, lucky me. Wow, very lucky. Goodness, he was about to get me too. So two wins on the uh, King's Cup. Let's see if I can continue with my winning streak here. Uh, let's see which... I got Witch, ooh, Baby Dragon, and oh, I got a really good air deck this time, so I'm just gonna go straight in with the air attack and then see if I can get some records there. Pretty good, aside from he is wrecking me pretty good too. He got some real good damage on me there. And there is his uh, princess, and I can't do anything about her, so I have to play against her. Can't just wait for her to walk up to the tower and do a bunch of damage against her. Uh, it doesn't work that way. Alright, so now I'm going to play the witch and see if I can deal with the bowler. I don't really know if witch deals with bowler correctly. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how that's going to work out. There goes the bowler though. Uh, please take the princess. Oh man, you got my tower. Dang, you got my tower. That expo is crazy. What do you do against expo? I'm not sure. And I have all these spells. I'm just like sitting on all these spells. I'm going to have to go with rage and balloon here. Uh, I have to play the opposite of whatever he plays. So there we go. Rage balloon. There goes my Rage Balloon. Alright, so I was able to get a tower with the Rage Balloon, thank goodness. Now I'm just going to sit back for a second and see if I can uh, push through on that other side. So let's see how I would do that. I might want to throw the Witch as a distraction over here on the left side. 
and then I'm going to see if I can just air, take down with the air. Alright, so that worked out pretty good too. And I had a nice little distraction there on the left, which cost him some of his troops. Alright, and I was able to stop his little push there. Now I've got a push coming from two sides, and I'm going to rage these guys. Rage Balloon is really putting in work over there. Rage Balloon is probably going to free crown for me. So there we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Jono is on a winning streak here. Jono is on a real good winning streak. All right. So let's go. Progress is doing real good here. Um, let's see. I'll just keep on going. Oh, my deck, they have names for the deck, Dark Lightning, so they, they're actually giving me uh, decks that have been chosen, which is interesting. So many people are getting Expo, it's ridiculous. So many people got the Expo deck, it's been ridiculous to me. I'm just trying to stay alive. So many people are getting this expo with the bowler. Bowler! I'm like, alright, we get it, you're a bowler. Alright, I got lightning on this deck. This is just weird. I never play lightning. So I've also got a building on this deck. I don't normally play buildings. So I feel like in order to get a good push, I'm probably going to have to put the building out. So there goes the building. And, um, yeah, a little bit of drip damage there. He took it, so that's not too, uh, not too bad. I don't really know what I was doing there with, with the lightning. It's like, I don't really play that card very much. I played it, and it only did one bolt, and it should do three bolts. So, just like, okay, uh, what do I do now? So... Just trying to get my dudes through. <clears throat> the bowler cannot attack air, so as long as I don't take my guys across the river, then I'm fine. But what starts to happen is that princess is there, and I have to get across the river to get the princess. So he's kind of like baiting me into coming outside of the river, which I don't want to do because I'm safe over on my side, and that skeleton army just wrecked me. That was, like, a pretty good move on his part. I'm not really using this deck correctly, and I need to get a push put together, so I'm finally going to send a push over. That's my first little push right there, and here we go. See if I can follow it up decently with a little rage dark prince, because so far I'm not getting anything done. And I need to actually get something done. So my rig, my push worked out pretty successfully. Uh, I got some work done there. I'm gonna do a little bit of tower damage and um, basically try and continue doing what I've been doing, which is using the minions against the bowler, trying to keep the princess from doing too much damage against me. He's got the fireball. Oh, the fireball was enough. So that means I need to get through now. That means I really need to get through. Let's see, I can keep on playing the lightning. I think I'm gonna cycle lightning on him because of the uh, damage it will do for the bowler. And then he seems to have, oh man, he's got baby P.E.K.K.A. But I was able to get the baby P.E.K.K.A. Nice, nice, not bad. He tried to get a push together on that side, but it didn't really work. Oh, I got tower damage. Oh, I got tower damage twice. That means I only need a lightning, and we're done here. So, good game. Nice to play with you. Jono's on a winning streak right now. 
This is fantastic. So I have never ever played the King's Crown or the King's Cup just like everybody. And uh, I'm doing pretty well. I've got some significant wins here with no losses. I don't want to brag or anything, but hopefully I'll be able to keep up with this winning streak. So let's see. I think one of the things here is that people don't normally play uh, aside from with like one or two decks that they always play with. And then they get kind of caught off guard by anything that's different than that. So uh, this definitely counts. Oh, he played the... Um, he played the uh, the elixir pump. Whenever they play the elixir pump, I know that I can play cards. And uh, here we go. I think I'm gonna wreck this dude. I just wrecked him with the three musketeers like real quick. Oh, that three musketeers is like deadly. So let's see. I'm just gonna play knight versus knight. Waste a little bit of elixir. No big deal. And I'm gonna actually start working on his other tower. So, he's got three musketeers as well, which means I am going to need to defend against those lovely ladies. And I'm going to need a little bit of splash damage. And it looks like he's going to get through on me. Oh yeah, they're really hard to defend against. Very difficult. <clears throat> and plus I needed my knight and I didn't have him, but that's okay Because I'm gonna go ahead and minor this dude on up And that's all I'm gonna need to take this tower And then hopefully I can just push on over to the other side and make this thing happen Now I really want to play the elixir pump. I'm kind of scared to play it, but I'm gonna play it Whenever I play it, it just means that he has a good chance to, to push on me. But he's not pushing for whatever reason. And I kind of want to play another Elixir Pump defensively. So I'm going to do that. Now he's actually playing his, uh, his cards really well. He's actually playing him really well, and he's got the same deck as me. And here he goes, he cycled out. Wow, that was a good play. He cycled out his, uh... Man, he's playing it really well. So this will probably be my first loss, because I definitely didn't play this deck as well as he played it against me. Although I got a strong hit off at the beginning. Alright, King's Cup, loss number one. It's a pretty good winning streak, but you can't win them all. So let's go into my, uh... Alright, Bowler and Expo. Oh, they finally gave it to me. And I don't have Princess. I've never played with her before. So this will be my first Princess match. Not too bad, and I'm getting some pretty good damage on him. Oh, uh, he wants to use the emotes. Uh, normally, nobody's used the emotes so far. I'm not gonna use them, though. I'll start off a push. Bowler in the back. You know, this guy... Oh my god, do you know I played my expo in the wrong place? At least it's played defensively, but still. I played it in the wrong place. I would have had his tower if I would have done it right. He didn't even need to zap it. I'm just going to wait for a second. 
I was giving him the well played as a joke because he zapped my thing when he didn't even need to zap it. It was about to die. So I'm going to actually play defensively over here. And, uh... I was going to play my expo over on the right, but, uh... That didn't really work out. I haven't even played the mini P.E.K.K.A., which is crazy. I normally would play the mini P.E.K.K.A. Alright, so I should get his tower. And I don't know if he can get my tower. I'm not sure if he has... Um, if he's going to be able to do that. So let's see if I can just cycle through... Might be able to pull this off. I think I'm just gonna fireball his tower. I really could have fireballed that princess. That would have been nice, but that's okay. I'm gonna play uh, the expo defensively. I think I got him. Good game. He's salty. Alright, so another win under my belt. This video is getting kind of long, but uh, that's alright because at least I'm winning, so that's pretty cool. So we got Rage Balloon again, and this one has Giant. I didn't read, uh, I didn't read what the name was. I probably could have read it and that would have been smart, but um, oh well. Not too bad, I mean, not terrible. He got some good hits on me though. Nice little start for him, for sure. I got a decent start, but he got hits on both of my towers. Now I've got Giant and Balloon and Witch. It's a little bit way too OP. Like, way too overcost. I would never have this many wake, like high cost cards in my deck. So, I'm gonna have to um, go with Giant out in front of the Witch. And then let's see if I can get this push put together. Yeah, it looks like I do have a push put together. So, I'm gonna back it up with my archers. And there he goes. He's got the uh, three musketeers, which is going to be difficult, I have to admit. This is going to be tricky. So once he gets across, that's when I put down my minions so I can take him out real fast. But then I don't have anything to deal with his um, miner. His miner's going to get some hits on me. And I need to put together another push, and I've got all these overpowered cards. Way too high cost. So, it's a little bit tricky. I really just want to throw my balloon and my rage off on the left. So I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to follow up on the right side with my giant. So he's a little bit distracted on that left side. And my giant's gonna get through. But he's getting me as well. So it doesn't quite help me. My giant's doing some work over there though. And I may be able to put together the same push again. And maybe get through. Maybe. Not really. This is, uh, this is a real tricky one. He got me. That Three Musketeers is so hard to go against. It's ridiculous. So, Three Musketeers. Real tough. Alright, I got my two losses. I would like to get halfway through the King's Cup. So, let's see. 
what deck it gives me. It says Go Log Go. I've never played with the log. Clearly, I've got the log card. I've got the elixir pump. I've got a bunch of support cards. It's like support cards all the way. I like support cards. They're nice and low cost. No issue with the support cards. Now, the log, I've actually never played the log before, so it's interesting. I didn't know how they determine like what you actually hit with it. So, that's kind of cool. I'm going to fireball his, uh, his tower over there. And it looks like I've got the golem. So, this is going to be tricky. Yeah, he's trading the fireball right over to my, um... Right over to my elixir pump. So Gollum is all like crazy, super big, like insanity looking. So that's worth noting. Um, let's see, I think he might have the same deck as me. So I'm gonna see if I can just push right on through. Log! Yeah, he's got the same deck as me. Um, this is going to be tricky. This is going to be a real tricky one. I was not able to take out his minions with my fireball like I thought that I would, but they didn't do any damage to me. So at least there's that. Now, I got some good damage in, and I am kind of afraid to play the elixir pump, but I'm going to do it anyway. He looks like he's holding on to his elixir. Man, here he goes with the golem. He's gonna try and push through. Man. I'm gonna have to build up my elixir pumps though. My goodness, I think I missed basically with my uh missed with my um with my fireball there. Not too bad though. Wow, he got my tower. I didn't think he would get it. Oh, is it my last loss? All right, so five on the King's Cup. Let's see what I got inside the chest. Five wins does not get you much in the King's Cup, and I think that that was a pretty significant number of wins as well. They only want five gems to enter. No wonder it gets you nothing. So five gems. I thought it was going to be like a thousand gems to enter. I'm like, they're giving me something so special. I'm getting an entry into the King's Cup challenge, but uh, apparently... It's only 100 cards and 2,000 gold if you win, which is the same as a classic challenge. So I guess I should have known that it should be the same or similar. So it's half the cost of a classic challenge for the same prize if you can win with a bunch of random decks. But your opponent will have a random deck as well. So fair enough. All right, you guys, that's the end of my video. Kind of a long one, but I was playing the King's Cup Challenge. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks to my awesome subscribers, and peace.